So what a great hole to streamer fish. You have faster flowing water coming through here and I'm able to cast over there, let my fly drift on through and strip it up through this deep part. Now I have some overhang, which I have to be kind of conscious of. I'm using a Versa leader. It's a um, six IPS, so it sinks six inches per second. I have about two feet of 1X um, fluorocarbon. I have an olive blossom. And then I have a trailer, um, a trailer streamer that's just a black olive. Uh, sorry, a black woolly bugger. Just gonna cast right in there. Might stand down in here a little bit. Get my footing. That way I can cast a little bit better. Let it sink down in there. That verse leader will help it sink. And then I'll just kind of work it on up through in here. Might work my way down in here a little bit. There's a rock right here I might stand on. Cast the other side. Let that drift down. Get that down, way down into that hole. And then strip it on up. Get way down in there. Let it sink. And then just strip. I'm trying to keep my rod tip as close to the water surface as possible. See how I'm bringing in my rod, uh, bringing in my fly line and maneuvering my rod tip. All right, got one right there. On the black woolly bugger. Gorgeous trout. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can't get another one in here. Seems too good not to try. Oh, I see. Holy bugger stuck in the net still. do that same technique. Cast it down, let it sink. Let it get way down in there, dead drift in it, and then just strip it on up. Strip it up on this side now. Change it up a little bit. Let it get way down in there.
keeping my rod tip close to the surface. Allowing that Versaliter tip to sink down into place and then stripping it on up. I'm going to let this drift further down and strip it up like this. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. Now that pause is very important. Ooh, I got hit. I got hit on that pause. Alright, let's try to get that back in there. Now, the pause is important because what it does is the trout will watch it. They'll see it flutter, 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 then pause and it drifts back down like it's like it's a minnow or a crayfish in distress. Or not necessarily sometimes in distress, but it could potentially be, you know, crayfish trying to come up into the faster current and then kind of runs out of energy and drifts down and gets some energy and comes back up. So I'll kind of maneuver it and then pause it. Maneuver it, pause it. Let that drift all the way back there. Wait for it to stretch out so I know I have contact with my fly. And then just maneuver it. Maybe go slow. Pause. Pull in my line. Pause. So as I'm doing it, as I'm pulling my line in, I'm maneuvering my rod tip. And then I'm pausing. Pulling in slowly, maneuvering my rod tip. Pausing. Ooh, got hit again. They like that pause motion. All right, got it. It's a decent one. Got that on a little bit of a dead drift. Another pretty trout. Get this out here. 